my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So I have another haul, a Valentine's haul for you guys. Yes, I am going crazy with Valentine's Day stuff. Valentine's Day core is in full swing right now. That was a little sneak peek. Hopefully I will get this video up soon so that I will get my Valentine's Day decor video up before Valentine's Day. That is the goal, but no telling. It's been crazy. Anyways, let's go on to the haul. Um, I have stuff from Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby, so let's just jump right into it. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free, so please click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I post every single week, sometimes multiple times a week. So trust me, you don't want to miss out. All right, with that being said, let's go on to the haul. So this is Dollar Tree. Let's just do Dollar Tree first. So I did get some flowers. These are very like Easter-ish looking flowers. But if you saw in my previous haul, I had these conversation heart stakes that I got from Hobby Lobby. I needed a way to prop them up. So this has to do with that. <laughs> um, I will show you guys what I end up doing with these. But anyways, they all match the conversation hearts. So I got one for each. I don't know if that'll be enough, but anyways. So yes, these are all $1.25 now. But very, very beautiful. And I feel like I can reuse these for Easter. So there you go. All right, so that is one bag down. Let's move on to the next. Wow, this one's heavy. Let me... Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's get this one out of the way. These are some chalkboard tags which I'm currently doing a craft with them for Valentine's Day, of course. And I will show you guys all of that during the decorate with me portion. So stay tuned for that video. But yes, these are chalkboard tags in the shape of a heart. And this is what is in the rest of the bag. I have three of these. And they are these beautiful stones, these white stones. And they have to do with this craft. So... I know it's probably puzzling right now, but it'll it'll all come together, hopefully. Okay, let's move on to the last bag from Dollar Tree. Oh, I have some flower foam, which again goes with this craft. Flower foam again. And I saw these really beautiful rose clips from Dollar Tree. Some of them are falling apart, but that's okay. These are very, very pretty, and I just loved the colors. Look how pretty that pink is. Wow. So I don't know what I'm going to be doing with this yet, but I just thought they were pretty. So that is all I got from Dollar Tree. Let's move on to Hobby Lobby. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got some tacky, simply tacky. I've never used this before, but this was on the checkout aisle. So I just grabbed it. We'll see if it comes in use. And I got these little... Um, planters, these cardboard planters, which have to do with this. So again, I'll show you everything. Hopefully it all comes together. <sighs> okay, let's see. There's one more item in here. What is that? Oh yeah. I have been looking everywhere for these little kissing booth wooden cutout things from Hobby Lobby. I really wanted the red one, but they are nowhere to be found. And this one was actually on like Hobby Lobby's display and I grabbed it. <laughs> there were two of them, so I left one. But yeah, this is a kissing booth. How cute is that? <sighs> so I have that and on to the last bag. Oh my gosh, okay, give me a moment. Okay, so I have more planters. So I have a total of four, you know, for the four um, conversation hearts and the flowers. And then I got paints to match. I already had yellow paint, but I didn't have paint to match those. So I got these, let's see. This one is from Americana and it's called Sea Glass, which I love that name, very mermaidy. <laughs> and then I got Purple Heather and this one is called Lisa Pink, Rose Lisa. Yeah. Oh, and I got one more, which was this glitter one. I thought that was really pretty. All right, those are the paints. And then I couldn't decide on this one that said love or these ones that have like the heart springing out. So of course I got both and not just like one of each, I got two of each. So I have a bunch of these little planters. I got more of these glitter cutouts. And again, I don't know if I mentioned, but everything was 40% off, so. 
These were $4.99. These were $2.49. So, oh, and this one, this little booth, kissing booth was $5.99. All right, so, and then I got this banner. Happy Valentine's Day banner, and it's glittery. Very, very pretty. Um, $3.99 originally. And then I got some Valentine's Day picks, which were $1.99 each. Got two of them. So yeah, that is what I got for this haul. Okay, so I don't know if I should make this its own video or add this on, but I did a little bit more shopping the very next day, of course, and I got some things. And let me share that with you guys. So this is the first item. All right, here's a little sneak peek, but this is the first item. I got a plush, uh, what's it called? Plush throw thing from Ross and this is actually for Easter. I know I'm already thinking about Easter. Oh my gosh. But this just happened to be there, you know, while I was looking for Valentine's Day stuff. So I just went ahead and got it and it says faith and blessed and it has little bunny rabbits and it's this beautiful baby pink with the blue and the green. I love it. So I did get that. So let's see if there's any details. Oh, okay. So it's a decorative throw and it retails for $16.99. So that is from Ross. And then the one that I first got was this one, which is also from Ross. And it is this velvet plush throw, 60 by 70. Let's see if it has a price. Oh, this was $14.99. And it has all of the beautiful Valentine's Day colors, which I love so gorgeous and it has all the hearts very very beautiful it was so hard to find any throw blankets for valentine's day so i don't know uh it was slim pickings but uh, i actually do like this one and it kind of like fades into nothing so i haven't opened this yet obviously but i can't wait to see what it looks like fully unraveled but it's very very soft and very very pretty i, I just love the colors that's my main Thing. So that was from Ross and then as I was leaving I saw this little guy <sighs> This is also from Ross. It was like kind of right around the checkout aisle. Of course, that's where they get you all the time and um, I have been looking for a Valentine's Day mug that I love This is all right, but it's again so hard to find just really pretty stuff that I really like but anyways I really um, liked this because it had red and pink it's this beautiful blush pink and let's see this was $7.99 and this is very heavy actually like very very heavy <laughs> um, and it comes with a little gnome oh my oh oops and he's holding a little heart oh my gosh i didn't even notice that detail that's very cute but he comes just like this and what is this oh that's just to make him like higher i guess but anyways this was really cute so i finally got a valentine's day mug i didn't have any so this is my first one and then I went to Target real quick and saw, just got two things, and they are both mailboxes. So this is the first one. This is from the dollar spot, both of them are. And this was $3. And I did show you in my previous haul that uh, I got a Valentine's Day mailbox, but it didn't hinge. It's a little bit bigger than this, but it didn't hinge. It's just like a canister, but these actually like hinge. So you won't lose the cap. You know what I mean? So that is what it looks like. This is the red one. The red one doesn't have anything written on it. But it has a pink flag. But the pink one has You've Been Struck by Cupid written on it. And it has a red flag. So very, very cute. This one also hinges. $3 each. So yeah, that is what I got today. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!